Welcome back. We are doing all signs Aries through Pisces, Elemental Quickies, Embellished. We are going to do it a little bit differently today. So starting with Aries. Let's see what the person most on your mind isn't saying. What are they not saying? I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole. I wondered, I wondered how far this would go. We are not right for each other. Okay. Take what resonates. Take what resonates only and ever. You have the overall energy of justice. Now, this can be a separation, obviously, but it also can be, it's your energy, your overall energy of wanting somebody to resolve a situation or possibly somebody getting karma. There can be a lot of different things. Making sure that your needs are met, but it seems like you got some stagnancy. Okay. Aries Leo Sag. What's this person expect or want from Aries? All right. Thoughts and feelings. Okay. And action. Okay. Why the Seven of Swords for action? They're not doing a damn thing. It's like they're just kind of sneaking off, staying quiet, holding back, avoiding confrontation because of the expectations that you have. They know that you deserve better. Why the feelings and thoughts of the Three of Cups? Fool. I feel like this person's out having uh, kind of like a free-for-all, really. You know, hanging out with other people, celebrating. I don't feel like this is this person wanting to reconcile. Your expectations are too high. Why do they expect the Eight of Coins? Why do they want or expect the Eight of Coins? Ten of Coins. I mean, deep down, this person wants to be with you, but they know that they have to put more work into it. How do you see this person? All right, only offering so much. Immature, not completely satisfying at all. Bottom of the deck, it seems like a connection that's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. This seems to me like this person's kind of going, I guess I'm starting over. I would like to, I want, I would expect, but this has been back and forth. You know, their thoughts and feelings is we could get back together, but should I just start over? I don't know what to do. And their action is just, I, I can't, I don't want to deal with the confrontation of trying to come at you right. What is the blockage? One for blockage. They're kind of a wuss, okay? There's jealousy issues. They they feel intimidated. They don't want to, you know, be held down. And they're not ready to commit. So this person's just silence. Silence. So I feel like they're getting some karma because they do have feelings for you. They would like things to work out, but they're not doing a damn thing to change it. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does this person expect or want? Okay. This person wants their freaking freedom. How do they feel? Thoughts and feelings for Aries. All right, this person is not... Not they're paranoid about a connection. They're paranoid about committing. They're going, uh -uh, not happening. I'm not. I'm not ready for this. I'm defending my territory of my freedom. What action? Four of Cups, and they're just in major stagnation here. I feel like they're getting attention from other people and just starting kind of over. But the overall energy of justice, they're not doing a damn thing. They know what your expectations are from them, but they're not doing it. How do you see them? Immature, childish, flirt, actual blockage. That, again, they want their freedom. Now we are reversing that. When we say blockage, we reverse. This is somebody that is stubborn not supportive, untruthful responses, wants their freedom, lack of communication, and just blocking. 
They're not taking any action. No, they're seeing other... I'm sorry, but this person's got other options. Not that they don't have feelings for you, but I feel like you're the one that's got the feelings. If you see them as immature, I don't think that they saw this going anywhere, honestly. I wondered how far this would go. They know that you wanted something committed, and they're not doing it. They're too paranoid. They're too concerned with other people's viewpoint about them. They want their freedom. It's like wanting their cake and eat it too, but with the blockage being the hermit, therefore reversed. This is somebody that's too stubborn. They don't want their, they don't know how to communicate well. They want to be left alone. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. This person, their expectations is possibly to reconcile okay one more for feelings all right and the action 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 mm. crickets all right i would like to get back together with you i would like to bring this up one more for judgment but I'm afraid of the arguments and the crap that's gone on between us. This is somebody that feels like you're just, emo you know, like you've had enough of it and that you don't, you're bitter. They feel like they're defeated and they probably are, have taken some low blows here. Their actual feelings, they miss you and would like to come back, but they feel like there is no spot in the bed for them anymore and that there's stagnancy. They're not doing a damn thing. Why the high priestess for action? Because they're keeping a secret. They are playing around. They're, this is a third party. Ouch. How do you see them? One more. Clarify the sun. Yeah, I, I just feel like you're seeing things clearly. Finally realizing that this person's just abandoning you. And you're standing your ground. So this feels like a separation that you aren't feeling like you're right for this person and they aren't right for you. It doesn't mean that they were cheating on you at the time, but there was definitely some conflict. Actual blockage. Because that's abandonment. King of Cups reversed. Guilt trips. Lies bullshit. We're basically taking these and reversing. So the King of Cups when reversed is somebody that is not dependable. They aren't loving. They don't plan to. It's just like somebody you It's more like a page or a knight. I'm kind of in. I'm kind of out. I'm kind of just playing around a little bit. And the Knight of Swords reverses somebody that can be very in and out. But they twist the truth and try to bargain their ass out of a situation, possibly leaving you behind. So right now, this is no go. <clears throat> they do think about a reconciliation with you, but right now they're just playing the field. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I don't, I mean, it does look like you have somebody wanting resolution, generally speaking, all the way around, but not doing anything about it. So this feels very fresh. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Okay. What they want. Thoughts and feelings. What their action is. Okay. One more for the Three of Wands for what they would expect. Okay. This person does want to come in and try to communicate with you and therefore get the balance back. Take the consequences for their actions. They still have long-term intentions towards you they're thinking a lot about you they're thinking and reminiscing three of wands they want things to improve but they feel like there's going to be a, or knowing that there's going to be a way and they know they have to put the work into it this is somebody that wants to start again let things fall into place but they actually want to make a stable offer one more for action Yeah, I mean, the King of Wands is somebody that's a real go-getter. So it's definitely somebody that's going to speak up, 
try to get you back. Take consequences for actions if they need to. What is the blockage? Blockage. And timing. Something wasn't going very well. Could have been timing. And somebody that was healing. One more. Yep, it's kind of what it's feeling like. It seems like this person or you were still working on healing and this just didn't quite get off the ground. It's like it started up, but this person wasn't quite over somebody else. Eight of Swords, needing to release somebody from their past, from healing. And, you know, third party they could have been put into. I'm not saying that they put you into one, but this is like, I need to let go of things that were risky. I need to let go of trust issues. I need to stop. It's like they, they're causing a little bit of a delay, but they do want to actually communicate to make things right between the two of you. There are feelings here. How do you see them? Emperor. Stable, loyal, practical, earnest. Also could be a little controlling. This is wanting this person to come back, try to work things out emotionally. But you're not sure it's going to happen. So I feel like you got crickets here. You're watching them possibly from afar. Wondering are they going to come in and resolve the situation? Are they going to do the right thing? And more. Like the outcome. It does seem like this person is going to give to this more. You got the Ace of Cups. So I think they're working on some self-love and showing themselves that they, you know, are worthy of actual love. This is the feeling of... Not that you're not right for each other, but they needed to clear up some things themselves because somebody else wasn't right for them. I'm really feeling like this person wants to be able to give to this connection, but they have to get some of the, the baggage off and therefore they need to pay dues towards you. So this could be sucking up, but they have to let go of some crap from the past and they go back and forth and you would like to have more stability. But it does look like a little bit of a wait, but them coming in and communicating their wants, needs. There is love there with that queen. And I would say with the queen of cups being in there, they are anticipating forgiveness. Okay, so we have Libra, Leo, Libra. Aries, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Pisces, Leo. And you guys can let me know in the comments if you liked this. We're just changing up the elemental quickies. Yep, yep, yep. All right. But there are feelings in here. All right. And then we're going to, for fun, get one from the fucking Honest Oracle and the Fuck It deck. The Pink Fuck It deck. Okay. I fucking love you from the universe, which means you also, also should be sure to love yourself and put yourself first. Even if you do love somebody, you have to put yourself first. Otherwise, you have nothing to offer. Are your core values similar? Ask the hard fucking questions and seek out the answers. All right, Aries, this is what we have for you. And on we go. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, first we're going to pick the person's brain. First, most on your mind. Source, what aren't they saying? I don't know how to let you go. One more. One more. Right. Leaving you hurt me too. Hurt me too. So let's see what we have for your overall energy. The Empress. Well, <clears throat> for your energy, you are basically sitting back and waiting. Avoiding confrontation. Something that you didn't expect happening. So it's like trying to actually take care of yourself versus taking care of other people and not ignoring your own needs, but you're being a bit passive. Can be love, wanting abundance. Let's see what we get. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What does this person want or expect? Oh, two came out. Okay. Thoughts and feelings. And their action. One more for action. Okay. 
This person has the expectation or would like to get back together. You have the Six of Cups and the King of Cups. I'm trying to think about the emotions. I'm trying to see, you know, think about what's best for both of us. They feel that they're, that you are a decent person, that you're still the right person for them, but that the two of you aren't getting along or on the same page. What their action is, is just sitting there going, I don't know what to do. do you know, they're, they're in a pity party. What's the actual blockage? Lies, bullshit. That's justice. We're reversing it and giving up too soon. This is somebody that had a chip on their shoulder or you felt like they were stringing you along. So somebody gave up, went their own way, not willing to compromise. One more for blockage. Fool. This is somebody that you feel like they may have toyed with you, but also not taking a chance. Or you to you know, was this person toying with you? Not willing to just jump in and take chances. But it seems like they were immature and self-sabotaging. Distracted possibly by another person. But not doing... <laughs> That's not doing right by you at all. Lies, unevenness, blaming, feeling punished, bitterness, coldness. Ne you needing the... You need to find your voice, basically. Let's see what you think. What do you think of them? All right. You're having a hard time getting over them. One of the lovers. Okay, you're not going to be treated like an option. This person owes you a big apology and needs to treat you better. If they treated you like an option, which with the fool being reversed... And the justice being reversed, this person could have stepped out of this connection, causing some real bitter shit. This person's not doing a damn thing because they're going, you have shunned me. I don't even know if you're interested anymore. This person feels like worthless because of them, you know, abandoning you possibly. But this is you, you're, you know, I'm not going to be treated like an option. This is major stagnation here. They're not doing nothing right now besides feeling sorry for themselves for their own damn action. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What does this person want or expect? Okay. Thoughts and feelings. And action. What are they going to do? Okay. Why the King of Swords for feelings? All right, and expectations. Okay, this person's obsessed with you making a decision. I don't feel like there's any communication here going on at all. It's like they're getting kind of pissy here. Why won't you open up and communicate? One more for feelings. Because that's some major tension that's built up and they want to talk. <laughs> Can we start over? One more for their actions. The six of pentacles for actions can be somebody buttering up, doing a bit of ass kissing. Page of swords, but they're intimidated as hell. What is the blockage? Immature. Selfish. Not. It's like you, you couldn't see clearly what this person was doing. It's like foggy future. Not being content. Page of cups reverse can be a flirt. But it also can be somebody that's all about themselves. It can be sly. One more for Black Edge. Strength reversed. This is somebody that did not want to be controlled. They're more of a controller. They're impulsive. They get anxious. They have no patience. How do you see this person? Page of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Well, I would say you would like to... Try talks. Try talking. I don't think this person wants to let you go. You're optimistic and you're waiting. So you're waiting, waiting, waiting. This can move forward, but they, the two of you have got to get on the same page. You can't have all this tension in here. Okay? They need to be more mature. They're intimidated. It's almost like 
especially with the Empress up here. The Empress knows how to spill exactly what she wants to say perfectly because it's the mother of the deck. It's like being reprimanded and, and you know, the person that can, you, naming everything that is a problem and this person's going, Ugh, you know, but they're not mature enough to take it. This is wanting this person back, yes, but feeling like they got to grow up a little bit. They're obsessed with getting you to want to move forward, but they feel like you're kind of stringing them along or holding them back, and then you got, I'm being serious about this, a lot of tension between the two of you, but they want to start over, have more balance, start with more security, so they know they need to be more generous. This does look like this person might reach out. They are feeling hurt too. I don't know how to let, they don't want to let you go. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, Knight of Swords, Magician. One more. Will of Fortune. Okay, they would like to make improvements. Why the Knight of Swords for expectations? What With what they want from you. They're, they're willing to put more work into this. I will do whatever it takes. I will do whatever it takes. They're in a hurry, though. It's somebody that's like, I need this change right now. Why do you have such a chip on your shoulder? I'll put more work into it. One more for feelings. They feel like the two of you should be communicating. And that you're holding back. One more for feelings. One more. They, haven't they want you to forgive, but they feel like you're kind of avoiding the confrontation because you're not, it's like they know that you aren't happy. What is the actual blockage? Actual blockage. Jeez. Shush. They need to put more work into it. They put you in a position of disappointing results and not knowing what to do. Not wanting it to be done. Not feeling any closure. Knowing you deserve more. And then the, somebody that's selfish. They think about themselves first. They could have hidden agendas, but they could be very controlling. Argues over nothing. It's like they're defensive because deep down they don't always feel good enough. A little on the shallow side, but this person wants to improve the situation. One more for their action. They're going to show you. They want to continue to see you. They want this relationship to have more stamina. They want to put more dedication and work into it and want things to go better. Your feelings. You want clarity. You want them to... Yes, you feel like you can get over this hurdle, but you're also not demanding, but your expectations are truth and honesty and clarity and a lot of changes. You're saying you're going to put the work into it, then you're going to have to show me. So yes, you can get past this hurdle. The six of wands is hope, good news, heading your direction. So that does look good, but they got to get their shit together and act more mature. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Expectations, what do they want? All right, High Priestess. Thoughts and feelings. All right. And action. All right. One more for action. All right. This person is taking steps very slowly to try to work on getting you back. Their expectations right now and what they want is they want you to I want you to express how you feel. They're they're thinking right now that you are holding back, that you're kind of kind of being aloof on purpose and giving them a cold shoulder. They're I mean they're willing, they're bitter about this. They're expecting bitterness from you. 
they still want to come in and communicate. So they're going to start real small and kind of flirty. They Their feeling is that this is not done. They want to push the tower back up. They don't want an ending. That's an apology. Let me come back. Let me try to fix this. What is the blockage? The emperor reversed and the chariot reversed. That's the feeling of being way off course, going the wrong direction, things not working out, no focus, walking away with a temper, not being stable. It doesn't mean that this person stepped out, but definitely reckless. Arrogance, possibly, kind of a coward, putting their needs first. How do you see them? I have high expectations. You meet them or you don't. But you're losing sleep over this. Why in the hell should you be losing? It's like your mind is racing about this. One more. You would like to heal this connection. And that's saying I would be forgiving. But you got a little bit of a anxiety here about healing. So this is very iffy. It does look like this person's going to come in and try... But they can't make you feel torn in two all the time. And they cannot act like they don't know what direction they're going in. It's like, do you need a fucking map? They're acting a little immature. They're going to play flirty, flirty. They know to expect an argument and some resentment from you. And they're willing to duke it out because they are wanting. They're trying to use their intuition. But they feel like you are, you know, they know what to expect. They know you're going to give it to them. But with the tower here reversed and the five of cups reversed, I want to get back what I feel like we have lost. I want to try to recover our connection. So they do not they don't want it to be done. It doesn't look like you do either. With the overall energy of the Empress, uh, that could be a reconciliation with a yes. But you're definitely knowing your value and knowing your worth. All right, let's see what we have for signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Aries. Libra. Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Leo. I'm losing my voice again. I gotta drink my water. Sorry, sorry, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Aries, but all signs are in here with the overall energy of Libra and Taurus. All right, for fun, the fucking Honest Oracle and the fuck it pink deck. Ready? You are seriously incredible. See? Well, we know this. If one fucking gives up, there isn't much hope for it to work out. So this person, whoever you're dealing with, needs to put much more effort in. All right, Taurus, this is what we have for you. On we go. All right, my Geminis. First, we are going to pick the brain of the person most on your mind. See what they're not saying. Source. Gemini. Okay. I need to focus on my healing, and I don't know how to let you go. Okay, well, that's kind of a contradiction in terms. All right, so let's see what we have with the deck for you. Change. Wanting things to go better. But this is with somebody that possibly has walked away from you. Because this is kind of avoiding confrontation. This is your energy. Wheel of Fortune. I want things to go better. But I'm not dealing with the dealing with the problem. It's got a little bit of denial feeling there. Alright. So let's see what we get. Elemental Quickies. Source. Aries Leo Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a fire sign. Okay. This person's expectations, they feel like they're coming in real quick. They have no plan, but they want to try to reconcile and bring the two of you back together. What are their feelings? Feelings. All right, one more for feelings. We can start over. We can do this. I'll be reliable. I can do it. Yeah, let's do this. This person wants to try to be more methodical, give you the feeling of what to expect more so, be more reliable. 
All right, what actions do they take? Ooh, well, very nice. Seems like they're going to come in and make things right, but there might be a weight. There also can be a distance, and they might feel like you have emotionally distanced yourself. So no major plan, wanting to come in and try to fix things. Can we start over? I know we can start over. I know I can make this better. I'm going to come at you right. I will take consequences. I will take responsibility for any actions that I have done. But the three here, they're anticipating possible forgiveness, but... They want to be with you. They consider you home. What's the actual blockage? All right. Okay, there's the healing. Trying to be more optimistic. And one more. You got you have all the threes. All of the threes. This could, could, could have been a bad, bad girl or boy. I wasn't on the same page with you. You weren't on the same page with me. I didn't feel like we were getting along, so I kind of just said fuck it and just dropped dropped it, you know. Needed uh needed to release some stress and possibly fell into a vagina. They made a bad, bad choice. One more for that three of swords. Manish, okay, just malicious as hell. We're reversing that. Lying to you. Avoiding you. Not being honest with you. How do you see them? Please go the fuck away. You're taking a break from all the tension. You know they treated you like an option. And that they were paying attention to somebody else. Do you want to try to get over? I would like to try to get over this. I would like to have good news. But you got the Page of Pentacles. That's just, I learned, I know what you did. One more for the two of coins. You know that they treated you like an option. I'm sorry, guys. But this is looking like this person played footsie with somebody else and acted like they were single when they weren't. But they want to come in and try to fix this. And take accountability, so you're going to have to think about it. There's a lot of tension here, and you're kind of going, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about this. You've been very back and forth in this connection. You can't be the selfish you know, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Walter, you son of a bitch. All right, let's see what we have for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. What does this person expect or want from Gemini's? Oh. Well then, <laughs> one more. Okay, feelings for you. Ooh, action they plan to take. What are they gonna do? Ooh. Okay, they want you to reconsider. They feel like you're the right one. They still have feelings for you. They want to, they feel like we can clear this up. We can push through this. We can make progress. I just need to come in and clarify a few things. Oh, okay. great. Well, let's see what the blockage is. Because you got somebody that turned their back. Or they might feel like you're just kind of walking away, but they aren't having it. So they know they got to put work into it. Blockage. Busted, 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 busted. Jealousy, manipulative bullshit, anxiety, impulsive actions. One more. Yeah, they screwed up. They made a bad choice. It's very similar energy. How do you see this person? Ten of Cups. Devil. Okay, you're really having a hard time. You're not sure what the hell to do. You feel like this person stepped out of this connection and that they were a selfish son of a bitch. And that they put you in the position of competition. You are just kind of leaving the baggage behind you. Doesn't look like it's going to stop them from trying. One more for outcome. Oops, we got two. Okay, I mean, this is you really having a hard time. This person wants to come back and you're saying, I have high expectations. So this is kind of limbo. 
You feel like this person's toxic at times, very selfish. They do, they screw, they do whatever the hell they want. And there's drama and games and you're kind of going, I've really kind of had enough of this. This is a major stagnation, but they're going to come in and treat you better. I don't know, kind of iffy. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they want? What do they expect? All right. Ooh. Feelings. Okay, and action. Lights, camera, action. Oh, and let me get, know, guys, if this is just a little variation of the elemental quickies, if you like the what to, you know, what do they want? What do they feel? All right, their actions is coming in, playing flirty, flirty. They want to be happy again. It's selfish energy, yes, but they're yearning for you. They're sick of this weight and the stagnation between the two of you. What they expect is to be back on their throne and to get this connection to grow again. They feel like you are the right one. They want improvements. How do you see them? Okay, you feel like they abandoned you or left you out or blocked you. Oof, you, uh, you might be just done with this. You don't trust it. You don't trust it at all. A lot would have to change. You're transforming and like, you cannot just leave me empty handed. Make me wonder what the hell's going on. Actual blockage. Wanting their freedom, having their cake and eat it too. Feeling like uh, misled, wanting, wanting to be uh, manipulative to begin with, but doing whatever the hell they want. Not acting like the King of Pentacles, which now they seem to think they're going to do. One more for blockage. And they might tell you anything that you want to hear to try to make, to make you take them back. Because they miss you. However, when we reverse this, I'd say anything to get my way. I'm kind of in and out. I don't really, can't, can't be honest all the time. I don't have enough faith. I don't follow rules. You know, I don't care about commitment. You're judgmental. You expect too much from me. But this is somebody that is a little on the sly side. And yes, they could have stepped out, especially with the high priestess. I don't know exactly what you did, but I'm fucking done with this shit. You feel like they're hiding secrets or hiding part of their part of their life from you. I don't know, guys. This is looking like you're saying, please go away. But it's not stopping them. But this, I mean, this would be like, I expect makeup sex. How about you expect the middle finger? I have hopes. Don't keep me waiting. I don't, you know, it's selfish energy. This person is going to attempt. But I don't know if you want to deal with it. Five of coins, no communication. I'm suffering. I don't want to feel codependent of you anymore. I don't want to feel like this at all. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. This person wants to clear things up between the two of you. Their expectation is to start again with you, but be more reliable. They are anxious as hell. Feelings. Okay, one more. Intimidated as hell. Wanting, they want an opportunity. Give me a chance. Action they take. One more. Mm, I don't like it. What's the blockage? Could have been a third party, but there's definitely not being on the same page at all. It's a manipulator. It's the master manipulator. Questionable intent. A lot of confusion. Not sure what the hell they wanted. And they dropped the ball. Walked away, all headstrong. Screw this, I'm done. I'm unsure, I'm apprehensive. You're not giving me any breathing room, being very territorial over themselves, but there's a lot of secrets here. A lot. 
they they're not coming your direction they're mm -mm. they want to but they're not i feel like they're playing around jumping in jumping in here there and everywhere how do you see them you don't want to talk to them they're taking time to try to withdraw and think you're holding back you know your value you might also feel like this person puts the value on the wrong things and I think you want to remain single. I don't think you do. Oh, you got the two of swords here again. No. My name is no. My sign is no. Not dealing with the bad choice that they made. Apprehension. They expect the Spanish Inquisition if they're able to start over with you. But they're too intimidated to do anything. So right now they're just distancing themselves. Out to check out you know, other goals. They're feeling like there's a lot of pressure here. I mean, they might try to come back and work things out with you, but I, it's going to be good luck to them because I don't think you're dealing with it. They're not over you. I need to focus on my healing. Well, that's not doing that if they're out just spreading the love. Spreading the love all right. Okay, let's see what we got. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, all signs. All right, we're going to have four fun. Get to one from the pink fuck it deck and one from the fucking honest oracle. Drama, drama, drama. There are trust issues from a previous fucked up relationship. I really do feel like whoever you guys are dealing with definitely has their own baggage that they have never learned how to deal with. So as far as they need to focus on their healing, yeah, they do. Not wanting to let you go. No, they don't want to let you go. Wanting improvement, but this might be you just saying, I'm improving my own damn shit and moving on. Making a big, 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 big change. Could be something coming in that you're not expecting. Okay, Jimmy's, that's what we have for you. I'm going to go. Okay, Krabby Pates. First, we're picking brain with the In the Shadows deck. What's that person not saying? Person most on your mind. What are they not saying? Your body language says so much. One more. You did not break me. Ooh. Somebody's got an attitude. One more for that one. You can't come with me. Oh, oh somebody's being bitter. But we do also have the, your body language says so much. So that can be defensive or hasty tatsy Okay, so you guys have the overall energy of the High Priestess. Can be Pisces coming your direction. Let's get a cut. Six of Swords. You might be leaving some baggage behind you. Using your intuition. Doing what's best for yourself. Pulling back a little bit. Being a little bit quiet. A little bit reserved. This also can be leaving the baggage behind you and another person to try again. So let's see what we got. Elemental cookies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, so what they want and what they expect. Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles. They want you to make up your mind, but they feel like you're ignoring the crap out of them. So they're expecting silence. All right, their feelings and thoughts. Chariot. Ooh, two came out. They feel like you're the right one. They're determined to have you back. But there's major, like, you ignoring them. Two of Wands, talk to me. They're planning to try to get you to talk, but they feel like they're hitting a brick wall. Action they plan to take. Fool. One more. Oh, let's start over. You can trust me. I love you. I'm emotionally mature. No, I've changed. Blockage. 
Nine of Pentacles reversed. So did this person lie about being single? Was there a snake here? Somebody using, being codependent, unsatisfied, making you feel inferior. Can be a lot of different things. Somebody that relies on you for finances. One more for blockage. That would be called a user. Eight of Swords. And it's looking like you released them. Had enough of it. But this person could be making up excuses. Well, it's your fault too. Like they're gaslighting you. Trying to convince you that you're the problem. Not so much them. How do you see them? Come here, Kurt. Alright. You are my sunshine. My only son. You see clearly. Nine of Wands. Ooh, you're not a happy. Mm -mm. You're doubtful. They have to come at you right. Okay, so it's like, I see clearly that you need to take responsibility for your actions and the bullshit. Nine of Wands. It's like, until you do, I am standing my ground. I, you know... Uh-uh. Arguments. I'm exhausted with this shit. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you are really exhausted with this shit. It's like you're paranoid. You're guarded. They need to come at you right. You want them to get some fucking karma. But this is somebody that... Be careful because they could have lied about being single, but they could be trying to keep keep you codependent. So use your intuition... Uh, this person's going to try and attempt, but you, they, you know, that does look like you're trying to block them. I'm planning on, but I know there's a brick wall, but I love you. I want my pedestal back. Eh. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Source. What do they want? What's their expectation? Nine of Cups. Their expectation is contentment, happiness, and getting their way. How they feel. Six of Pentacles. One more for feelings. Magician. They feel manipulated. Oh, oh, oh. That or they feel like you don't want to have anything to do with them. It's like, what? You you don't have any intention of taking me back? What do you mean? There's a delay here in the program. But I'm kissing your ass. Action. Four pentacles. One more. Four pentacles reversed on the last page. They're immature. This is somebody that puts the wrong value on the wrong things. They want their emotional freedom. They're a little bit of a flip. One more for their expectations. And what they want from Tower. I want a big change so that we are happy. What is the actual blockage? This person's whacked. Disappointed you. They also could have been screwing around with an ex or somebody else. Page of Swords. That could have been a third-party situation with somebody that they were, you know, in a relationship with before. Disappointments. Stepping out. Yeah, Two of Cups reversed also can be a third-party situation. So it looks like they were paying attention to somebody else and playing the field. Manipulation. Now I'm going to make things even. I know I caused a shit show. How do you see them? Temperance. It feels to me like you're working on some healing here. Taking your time. You feel like they're slow to commit. Three of Swords, you're hurt. You know what they did. You feel like they've lied to you. This is looking like you're done. You got the fuck off at the bottom of the deck. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. You're staying aloof. I'm trying to work on my healing. It's taking time. I am not going to be cheated on. I know that you're full of shit. You're avoiding confrontation with this person. This is looking like you're just done. This person's up and down, and I feel like they are a control freak. I would be extremely careful. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What is their expectation with my cancers? Three of coins. Thoughts and feelings. Three of wands. And action. What are they going to do? One more for the moon. Alright. Why the three of pentacles for expectations? 
they expect you to take them back. They expect to get on the same page with you. They feel like this should move forward. They're anticipating better things in the future with you. But they're holding back. How is this person that didn't give you exactly what they wanted? They're wanting to do so. One more for feelings. Because they feel like you're putting them on hold. Making them wait. Seven of Pentacles. I really badly want to actually... I'm being patient. I'm being patient. But I actually want to put some work into this. But I, I don't know what you want. They do not know what to expect. They want to be back on their throne. They want to show you more reliability. They want to get on the same page with you. What's the blockage? All right. Rocky Road and a selfish son of a bitch. Temper issues, aggression, could have stepped out of the connection. The king of wands, when reversed, does whatever the hell they want. They don't care how it impacts other people. Could have been a hidden agenda, an attention hole, a temper, somebody that's looking for attention other places because they don't feel good enough about themselves. One more. Six of Cups are bad memories. How do you see them? I feel like you're making a change and moving on and that you're avoiding them. Eight of Cups. I'm emotionally walking away. I'm starting over. Didn't break you. And they can't come with you. This is you saying there's so much better out there. I'm not dealing with this crap anymore. I am anticipating a change. They caused bad memories. They could have stepped out of this connection. But this is not the goal that you were looking for at all. They, they don't want to. They're anxious about starting over. Well, if it's just about comfort and finances, screw that crap. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, expectations. What do they want? Four of Wands. All right. They don't have a plan, but they want to try to make this work between the two of you. Their actual feelings. Ace of Swords. They want to break the ice. They want to clear the air with you. They have feelings for you. This feels like it hadn't been a very long-term connection, though. Action they plan to take. All right. I could be making more time for you and learning more about you. I feel like this is a newer connection. It does still have faith, but you're kind of like, I need to know more about you. I need to know more about you, but this person's like, I'm going to be honest, you know, I, I have feelings for you, I have a crush on you, but they don't have necessarily any specific plan. You could have met this person at a party or a gathering. How do you see them? All right. Holding back a little bit, but, you know, interested, yes, sexual, a little bit of tension, very willful. Ace of Wands. Okay, you're, very, you're waiting. You're waiting for them to come to you. You are interested in this person, but it's like, I need to know more about you. Oh, the sex would be off the charts. And you're optimistic. And then you're the night of, yeah, I feel like you're waiting, anticipating them coming your direction, asking you out to try to clear things up between the two of you. I mean, this doesn't seem like anything terrible at all. It seems like a new connection, actually. That needs a little bit of clarification. Your body language says so much. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I feel like the more mysterious you are to this person, the more you draw them in. That feels like a newer connection that just needs to get to know each other better. Really. All right. So let's see what we have for majors. Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces. Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Libra, Libra. Taurus, Cancer. But all signs are in here. Really using your intuition. Okay, let's get one from the fucking Honest Oracle and the Pink Fuck It deck. Get off your ass and move. 
And then don't dump your fucking drama on your lover, which I believe is new. Don't look back. You're not moving in that direction. All right, Cancers, that's what we have for you. On we go. Leos. All right, we are starting with the In the Shadows Oracle. So we're going to pick some brain. What's that person not saying? Source. Person most on their mind for my Leos. I hope you're happy for me. Mm. All right, and then we have, I took the easy way out, really? Ugh. One more for, I hope you're happy with me, for me. Sometimes I hear your voice, this person's whacked. Yeah, just, there's, I mean, this is somebody that's like, I still have emotions for you, but I hope you're happy for me because I'm trying to find myself. And I took the easy way out. Okay, let's see what resonates here. All right, so your overall energy, let's see what we have. The star. This can be you healing from somebody from the past. Cut of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. This is anticipation and yearning a reconciliation or yearning a long-term connection. You could have a really decent feeling about somebody new that this could go somewhere and you could have met somebody or would be meeting somebody at a party or a gathering. So this might not have anything to do with the person from the past, but let's see what we get. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo Sag, what do they want? What does this person want and expect? Wheel of Fortune. A big change. Page of Pentacles. They would like to get to know you. Said they're expecting communication. They're glad to have met you. Thoughts. Thoughts and feelings. All right. Seven of Wands. This is what came out. Seven of Wands. Thoughts and feelings. They feel like you're a little bit guarded, but King of One, they definitely have sexual interest in you and they're going for it. They want a connection that is balanced between the two of you. That's very nice. So their actions, of course. Action. Clarity, honesty, let's talk. Big change. Wheel of Fortune, big change. Let's see what you think of them. Do you think of them? Oh, they're devilish. But you should be falling. I can't even help myself. They're so good looking. Nice energy, though. All right, one more. What do you think of them? Six of Wands. Very doting. Very much paying attention to you. You have hope. That's hope. Hope, hope, hope. I hope the person from the past is happy for you. The one that took the easy way out, because this is looking like a new connection. This looks beautiful. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck now. It was in the middle of the deck. Now at the bottom of the deck. Could meet this person at a gathering through friends, family, whatever it is. But you're definitely going, I want me some of that. Meow. Hello. New love. Get to know me. Let's, you know, moving forward, getting attention from this person. They're honest. They're putting, they know that you have clear boundaries, that you're a little bit, this is by the book, but they see you as fun and their feelings are that you would be somebody that they would enjoy being with and that you're confident and very bold. I like it. Go Leo, go. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person's expectations. What do they want? Justice. Feelings. King of Swords and their action. Ten of Wands. Why justice for expectation? Hermit. <laughs> They're expecting you to ignore them. They're getting some karma here. Why the King of Swords for feelings? Trying to emotionally distance themselves and act like they don't care. Oh. Oh. You know, there's two cards for the King of Swords, and there's two cards for another king, and you guys got double King of Swords clarifying their feelings. This person is just an ass. One more for feelings. Two of Wands. They're picking a different path. Why the Ten of Wands for action? I put so much hard work. I'm just, wah, wah, wah. I'm taking this so hard. 
but they're not doing a damn thing. I feel like this person's not reliable. This is somebody that's in this pity party, feeling sorry for themselves. They might be the type of person that would scam you, causing intense heartbreak. What's the actual blockage? Waste of time. Didn't put any effort into it. Didn't really give a shit if it worked out or not. Disappointing results. Five of Cups. Mmm. Well, when we reverse that, that's somebody that wants to get back what they had, but not putting any effort into it at all. One more. Marathon. Commitment fold. Not going so well. How do you see them? Please go away. Don't watch them. You might have a new person in your life. Well, let's move that to the side. Five of Pentacles, clarified. You feel abandoned. You feel left out. You feel left empty-handed with this connection. High process, lack of trust, and you're restless, and it's looking like a new person coming your way. Healing, trying to move forward, trying to move on. This person's going to be, oh, woe is me, poor me. Well, they did it to themselves. They're getting some karma. They're... They're, they're, they're expecting, basically, to you to keep your silence from them. So they're being cold and shitty anyway. But that's a commitment fold. So they could have gotten cold feet and bailed on you without saying a damn word. High recess. Yeah. Uh-uh. Using my intuition. My intuition says there's too much restlessness here between the two of us. But, hey, look, there's somebody new. I'm feeling somebody new. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person has commitment issues. They don't know what they want. They cannot be just in and out of your life because they have cold feet. All right. Let's get a drink of water. Dry pipes. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they expect? Six of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Actual feelings. Actual feelings. The magician. The five of wands. Competitive asshole. They feel like you are just basically constantly putting conflict here. But there's like the the eeny meeny miny mo. I'm playing bullshit games. They're leaving the person that they, you know, thought was most reliable, but they could they're leaving you behind. They're like there's there's better things out there. I'm not doing this. Action. Nine of Cups. Selfish energy. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want that makes me happy. Empress. There was somebody else. What is the actual blockage? Third party. Oh. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think you made a call here that was best for yourself so that you could move on. One more. They made a bad move. Four of Wands. They broke it off with you. There was no stability here. It feels like they're, oh, so disappointed. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're causing competition. Their feelings, they can do whatever the hell they want. They can play with whoever the hell they want. They can play games if they want to. How do you see them? How do you see this person? Please fuck off. I'm cutting you out of my life. I think that's what's best for me. I'm trying to heal. Giving them the cold front. King of Pentacles reversed. I can't rely on you. I can't trust you. I don't want, really want to deal with you. I'm not interested in you at all. And then you have Paige. So again, the feeling of possibly having expectations of uh, somebody new. You also could feel like this person's going to attempt to try to reach out again, but I don't think you're interested at all. You're standing your ground, you're blocking your heart, you're guarding your heart. You don't feel like this person's reliable and you know what they did anyway. That's somebody that is not committing and stepping out. You got too many queenies up here. The Empress is the one that is going to win out, and this is the one that they are playing with and toying with. Jackass. Jackass. 
So they left you behind. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want to walk away from you. It took the easy way out, all right. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so this person is expecting to come at you fair, honest. They want a beginning with you. That can be a gift, an offer, stability, but it's new. Feelings. Mm, we like that. Not, they're not checking out any other options. They want to try to make things work with you. Let's go with the flow. Let's go with the flow. Action. Ooh, I will have some of you. They're going to pay attention to you. They're going to get your attention. Even if you hold back. There's tension here sexually. How do you see them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You would like to move this forward, but you're taking your time as well. I'd like to get to know you better first. So you're going to have to have a little bit of patience. Two more for how you see them. King of Cups. Emotionally mature. Anticipation. Ooh. One more. Okay, Dr. Frankenberger. Ooh. Yes. A new connection. Feeling like this is a new connection. One more for their ace of coin for expectations. Yeah, they want to move this into a connection. They want to come at you right. I desire the hell out of you. And I'm going to have an opportunity. I want this opportunity. Here I come. I'm optimistic. This is really nice, but it's new. So it's got nothing to do with whoever took the easy way out. But there's anticipation. You have some fresh energy. I think you guys are the first ones. Leave it to my Leos. We like that. All right. Hope, adoration, dreams, daydreaming, making promises, a future, making a wish. It's nice energy. Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn. That was freaky. I got to take one of those out because they give you the alternate... Mm, that's weird. Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Libra again, Taurus. Libra! Yeah, I can't help you. Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Cancer. All signs. All right. Very optimistic. This is like not necessarily knowing what direction you're heading in, but feeling like it's going to be good. All right. One from the fucking Honest Oracle and the fuck a deck. Don't let your runny nose feel like pneumonia and speak your fucking mind and let them do the same. Repeat often for success. I'm feeling a lot of new energy for you guys. Honestly, I do. All right, Leos, this is what we have for you. On we go. Okay, Virgos, we're going to pick some brain here in the shadows. So let's see what that person's not saying. Source my Virgos. Virgos. I know you're watching me. Are you watching them? One more. I do wish you well. Hmm. One more for I wish you well. Sometimes I hear your voice. Well, they still are thinking about you too then. If they know they're being watched, just saying. All right, you guys have the overall energy of justice. So, that can be resolution, that can be somebody getting some karma, can be somebody taking accountability, but it also can be somebody coming your direction that is fair, balanced, and weighing your options. Let's see, we get cut of the deck. We have the tower. Big changes, big changes. Separation, possibly, but something that completely, you know, this is your energy, completely destroyed your thoughts of how things should be. A sudden change. It also can be an intense physical attraction coming your direction. Deception exposed. I mean, lots of different things there. So let's see what we get. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source. Elemental cookies. What does this person want? What do they want and expect? Okay. They expect some clarity. They expect and want to clear the air between the two of you or want a new beginning. Three of Cups. 
their feelings. Let's bring this together. One more for feelings. I want to suck face with you. Ten of Swords. They want to reconcile, but they think that they you might just be over them. Because right now they're oh, kind of exhausted, feeling broken. They might be feeling like there was an outside influence here. Their action. What are they going to do about it? Fool and the High Priestess. They don't know how to take you at all. What is the actual blockage? Mm, taking you for granted. Possibly uh, stepping out. Yeah, okay, so the Seven of Cups reversed. Is you basically saying, I'm not going to tolerate being treated like an option. Evaluating, being very determined, no longer being confused about this person and how they treated you. One more. Just feeling like they took advantage of you or they completely dropped the ball. They didn't have time for you, whatever the case may be, and they were a manipulator. Their action... <laughs> I'm doing whatever I want. I will jump in and out of anybody's fucking life. It's nobody's business. Three of Cups. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is dead. Oh, celebrating? No, I feel like they're out drinking, having a grand old time. Ace of Swords. I feel like they're making a clean break. One more for the Ace of Swords for expectations or want. Eight of Cups. They want to they be left alone. How do you see this person... They see you, they expect you to walk away and do the same. Three of Swords, you're hurt, you're trying to heal. You feel betrayed, you feel resentful, you feel empty. You hope they get their karma. Nine of Wands, don't let this get to you. This person was a lying snake in the grass. Holding back, not, no, you're, this is weighing the options and this was a bad idea. Don't watch this person because it's looking like you're having a hard time healing, but feeling betrayed. This person's done. They're done. They're out celebrating. They're making a clean break of it. They're a manipulator. No, 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 no. Rip it in half. Gemini Libra Quiz. Hey, bro. What does this person expect or won't? Virgo. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. King of Swords. Okay. This person wants serious communication, first of all. I mean, they have feelings for you. They feel like the two of you belong together. This can be bringing up a new opportunity or wanting a second chance. They expect... No obstacles in the way at all. They want to move things forward with you. They expect good news. They want a lot of communication from you. Three of coins. They expect to get on the same page with you and kind of go with the flow. One more for the king of swords for action. Queen of swords. I mean, very analog. I feel like this is a very serious person and you'd be, it would be like meeting of the minds here. Guarding, guarding, honest, and honest. How do you see this person? I mean, telling it like it is. All right. New love. Making sure that it's worth holding on to. Definitely looks good, though. High expectations. This is a new beginning. Let somebody else watch you now. Ha, huh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. This feels like a new connection, very serious effort in communicating, and that can be because there needs to be, like both of you work so much, it's hard to find time for each other, but trying to keep the communication open. This is new love. Four of Pentacles, checking it out. Is this person worth holding on to? Not saying much as far as whether you're I mean, this is looking like a commitment and learning more about this person, but having high expectations of this connection, this looks very nice. They expect honest, open communication, and let's go with the flow, but they might need to make more time for you. Got a nice butt. This is the butt, butt and boob, butt and boob deck. 
All right, that looks very nice. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they expect? Nine of Cups. And just sit here pleasuring myself. Well, I got their arms hey, crossed wow. and they're tied up. They want to be happy. Ooh, they have feelings. I would like to ask you out. I I feel like they're extremely sexually attracted to you. What action did they take? This might have really thrown them for a loop. They want to meet your expectations. One more for action. They're coming your way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're putting the moves on you. They know you have high expectations, but they actually want to show you reliability. They can be a little possessive, therefore a little jealous, but they're optimistic about this. So they want an opportunity with you. What do you think of them? I would like to get to know you. I can see having a crush on you. This could go somewhere. Two of Wands. It's two people that are very sexually interested in each other in this case. Making a choice to start planning to see where this can go. So again, the feeling of kind of going with the flow. That you could meet this person amongst um, friends, family, and gatherings, whatever it is. But you are curious to see if this can get off the ground. Interested in, got a crush on them. Cut of the deck. Determined to see where this can go. Nice. They want to be happy, happy. I'm giving this person an opportunity. Slate drink. Very, very dry throat. All right, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do they want? What do they expect? The devil. Ooh. One more for expectations. Peace. Okay. This person is just possessed with the thought of having a beginning with you. Their actual feelings and thoughts. They're in a hurry to get it in your pants for damn sure. But they do see this going somewhere. They, and they might be a little impatient though. Because the Knight of Swords is somebody to come. No plan. Just, man, I got to have me some Virgo. <laughs> okay, so their action. All right, Page of Swords. They're a little intimidated. And then we got the Hangman. They feel like you're kind of holding back. One more for action. They're a little intimidated. They're wondering if they're good enough for you. They they wonder if they have enough to offer. So they're kind of, I mean, they're very interested in you. They're very obsessed with you. But they feel like you're kind of going, eh, putting the brakes on them a little bit. And they want to jump in now. How do you see them? I need to know you better first. But you're anxious and nervous. You're sexually attracted to them. You make me feel twitter pated. You would like to continue seeing this person. This looks nice. Let's see what else fell out here. They boss up very well. Mm. Another card of learning. I need to get to know you better. You might feel like this person's a little... Now, that's somebody that's very smart. Street smart. Very... Um, more of a homebody, can be a little bit shy and quiet, but I really feel like they're wondering if they're good enough for you. But they're they're making the moves because they can't even help themselves. So let somebody else wish you well and watch you. All right, let's see what majors we have in here. Okay. Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Pisces, that naughty devil wanted to fall in a different direction, can't behave even there, all right, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, and then Libra for overall energy, I feel like you're just doing what's right for you. Letting somebody else get some karma, but move forward. 
All right, we're going to get from the fucking Honest Oracle and the Pink Fuck It deck, one each. Awesomely great shit ahead. And you have Kiss and Make Up. Mistakes happen. It doesn't matter who fucked up. Uh -huh. That could be for some of you if you're looking for a reconciliation, but I don't know that you're digging it. Because you definitely got somebody better and just kind of getting their karma. All right, my Virgos, that's what we have for you. Now we go. All right, Wookie crew. So we are starting with uh, In the Shadows. We're going to pick that person's brain that's most on your mind and see what they're not saying. Source, Libra, Libra, Libra. What are they not saying? I was careless with you. One more. I pretend you didn't mean that much. Really, I pretend you... I pretend you don't mean that much. And then I forgive you. Hmm. Who needs the forgiveness, though? All right. Let's see what we got. You guys have the overall energy of temperance. That is healing. And you have contentment and happiness and trying to become happier or making a wish. Wishes coming true. Cut of the deck. We have the King of Cups. Now, that can be somebody coming into your life that wants to be patient and get to know you that is emotionally mature. It also can be a reconciliation. So, new or old, it doesn't matter. It's having patience. So, taking your time, time to trying to get your balance back. Aries, Leo, Sag. Elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, so this person's expectations. Okay, they're intimidated. This person's kind of agitated. They're expecting more arguments. They feel defeated. Their actual feelings. Ten of Pentacles, one more for feelings. Four of Cups. They feel like you're not interested in them anymore. They feel like you're not even thinking about a reconciliation. Their actual action. Four of Swords. They're just going to stay guarded and paranoid and keep their mouth shut. What's the actual blockage? Okay. Somebody that won't change. Devil reversed. I will drop my toxic ways, but they're not drop. They're not doing it. This is somebody that could have been promising you, "I will change. I will change. I will change." But constantly making bad choices. One more for blockage. Disrespecting you. Possibly stepped out of the connection as somebody that was a control freak. Thought that you were too pushy, too mothering, too smothering. Didn't want things demanded on them. Thought you you were way too dependent on them. How do you see them? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Not interested. You have lost interest. You're starting over. You're starting over. You're doing the right thing for yourself. So I feel like you're working on healing. I feel like you're avoiding them and they're they're knowing that they're just going to have to walk away. But that's major stagnation and not dealing with their crap anymore at all. They might have pretended that you didn't mean that much, but hey, guess what? They were careless. Gemini, they were Aquarius. What do they want? What do they want? Oh. Feelings. Mm. Action. Okay. All right. They think that you're something worthwhile to hold on to, so they want to kind of give to this connection. They're trying not to come on too strong, but almost can't help it. By the King of Wands for their expectations and wants. This is somebody that's very, very, very confident. They're coming at you with flirty communication, their feelings, it's like, you make me happy, you're my wish fulfillment, and they want to meet your expectations, they expect a lot, they have the feeling that you could be the one for them, that you're reliable, nice, how do you see them, match, 
nice hard worker, reliable. You know what to expect from this type of person. They can match you right, can be a Libra as well. But it's weighing the pros and cons and the options and moving, movement forward. This is very nice. Wow. Ooh. Very bold, very sexually interested in you, and they definitely want to, can't wait to get their paws on you. I like it. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they want? Queen of Wands. They want your attention. They expect your attention. Their feelings. Well, they do have feelings for you. Let's get what do we have for action? Okay, one more for action. They're holding back on putting any work into this. Why? Page of Cups, because they're not sure if you're interested or not seven of swords they don't know what to expect so they got a little bit of a trust issue here why the knight of cups for feelings eight of cups well clarify the eight of cups two of wands they're thinking and feeling that you've walked away from something else recently and they might just be an option. So they're being very cautious. They want to take steps towards you, but at the same time, they feel like if I confront you and get too pushy, that you're going to get freaked out and bail. They, they, think, they think that you have, that you're confused about a situation that has nothing to do with them. One more for the Queen of Wands for expectations and wants. Three of Wands, they would really like, they're going to be patient, very patient. Basically, they see you still healing. This is a new connection, but they see, I mean, their feelings is that you have moved on emotionally towards something new, but they want to ask you out. This is a new connection. They're just being extremely cautious. I want to, I want to, they're going to have to go with the flow. I want to get on the same page with you. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll, I'll be patient. You've got a lot of patience this person has. How do you see them on the floor? Fetch Wookie. No. He's so naughty. Two of Cups. You're interested in seeing where this can go with this person. Let's see what hit the floor. Since the Wookie won't fetch. Shame on him. All right. Okay, so what hit the floor was the Ace of Wands. You are definitely interested to see this get off the ground. You would like to see it grow. Let's hang out. Let's do some Netflix and chill. They give you the feeling of stability. You got the Emperor as well. Stability. Passion. So giving this person a new opportunity with you, giving them the chance to show you stability, having a backbone. Having the same goal, bliss, harmony, enjoying the shit out of this person. But they're a little apprehensive. They know they need to be patient. So this is somebody that's definitely going to show you stability and make you feel very comfortable. This feels very nice. But they do know that you have walked away from something else emotionally. So they have to be very ginger with you, very cautious. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do they want? What do they expect? Six of Wands, they want your attention. Just a quick drink there, guys. Dry pipes. One more for expectations or won'ts. Drive-by slurping. Drive-by slurping, yes, that's what I'm doing. God, <laughs> Wookie. Yeah. This person wants to initiate contact. They want to pay attention to you. They have hope, adoration. They want your attention. They want you to notice them. Feelings. Ooh. This person's very emotionally stable. They're emotionally mature. They're open to this. What action do they take? Page of Pentacles and Yearning and Burning. This person is hoping for a new beginning. There again, patience. But let's hang out. Let's spend some time together. Let's see if we get along. 
Page of Pentacles, they want to lay groundwork for something more. They can't wait to spend more time with you. This looks nice. Judgment, I, I want an opportunity with you. How do you see this person? I think Leo was the other one that had a lot of positive. You feel like this is going to move forward nicely. Three of Cups, you could meet this person out drinking or amongst friends, but you want to bring this together and see how it goes. But you do want to continue seeing this person. Nice. This looks nice. Very nice. Dedicated, devoted. Three of Cups, bringing things together. Can be at a party that you meet this person, but it's like, mm, they're putting the moves on you. They want your attention. They're going to see to it that it happens. Their feelings, now that is love, but it's also knowing when to not pour it on too thick. So this person's looking for a partner. It's beautiful, and I love it. Love it. Whoever was careless for you, yeah, I don't know that you need the forgiveness. But healing, hopes, dreams, wishes fulfilled. Somebody might be pretending that they that you didn't mean that much. They're full of shit. All right, Sagittarius. Here we are. Aries, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio. Aquarius. Aries. Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, again, quite a bit of that. And that good old Passion King there. All right, let's see what we get with the fucking Honest Oracle and the fucking Pink Deck. Fuck off, guilt. Put your fucking heart out there and love without fear. Ooh, I like it. All right, Libra's very nice. On we go. Scorpios. Okay, we are starting with the In the Shadows Oracle. We're going to pick that person's brain that's most on your mind. What are they not saying, Source? What are they not saying? Okay. I know I made a mistake. You're so easy to see through. So they think that you, they can read you like a book, but they know they screwed up. Okay. So you have the overall energy of the hermit. Then you have the hangman. So I feel like you're kind of waiting, but you're doing a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching, trying to find answers. Cut of the deck, you have the hair font, trying to find answers, you know, as far as uh, uh, about somebody and their decency. And if they're going to be willing to be fair and balanced and honest and truthful and supportive. All right, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, source. What do they want? Who? Oh. All right, they want patience. How they feel. Oh, they want to screw your brains out. So they want to spend time with you. That's what they want. They are not looking at any other options. So they're definitely going, you. You the one. One more. Two of Wands. Pick me, pick me, pick me. I know you're interested in me. I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. One more for what they want. What they expect. Oh, yeah. They want to ask you out. They want to spend time with you. They expect to hang out, do some Netflix and chill, possibly have a piece of ass. But they do want to have a connection that actually grows. They have feelings that they, they're growing. Intense, passionate beginning. They want a connection with you. They mean business. All right. What do you think of them? You're open. Oh, yeah. You think they're emotionally mature. You're doing a lot of thought about this. This is something that you might not have expected. You want to get to know them better. But the anticipation is hot, 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 hot. So this is somebody that would make you happy. High Priestess is a little bit mysterious. So you want to get to know them better. But this is them putting the moves on. And you're going, yes, I'm daydreaming about you. This is a nice connection. They want some of you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get out of the house. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want? Hmm. 
All right, this person is restless. They want to talk. They're trying to be more optimistic about what's happening between the two of you. What are their actual feelings? All right. All right. They're determined to lay the groundwork here and try to make things better between the two of you. Their actual actions. They're, they're biting their tongue and they're watching their mouth because they, they want to get your attention. What's the actual blockage? Their freaking attitude at times, impatient, can be a bit controlling, not reliable, not a hard worker. This person could have stepped out of this connection. One more. Queen of Swords, which we are therefore reversing. This person knows that you are very guarded now because they could have shown that they were lazy, materialistic, no ambition, greedy, unreliable, and stepped out. How do you see them? I'm not interested. I'm waiting for something better. You're a lying bastard. Please go the fuck away. Yeah, I think you, you kind of mean it. I'm doing what's best for me. I know my value. You can piss off. You know, you're not dealing with it. They made a mistake, all right. Woo. But they're anticipating coming in to attempt. They want to talk. They feel restless. Too bad, so sad. It's looking like their restless attitude is what got them in trouble in the first place. Lies, bullshit, deception. You're waiting for something better. You feel you're holding back. It's like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't believe you. I don't want to be confronted. I have trust issues with you. I'm, I'm moving on, I'm doing what's best for myself. I hope the karma stick slaps you upside the head. I know my value. Ooh. Piss off, person. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. No, they won't. Three of Cups reversed. All right. They expect you not to want them back, but this is something that they want to continue. How do they feel? Feelings. All right. They feel like you are home. They still want a connection with you. They feel like you have a lot to offer, but they're intimidated and they're acting kind of sh shitty. They're being a little bit agitated, watching you from afar, possibly accusative, their actual action. Oh, will you forgive me? I feel like you are still my soulmate. Blockage. Breadcrumbing, not offering enough, not being fair, one-sided, not cooperating in the connection. And it looks like they released you. Now, this also can be a person that's always making excuses for their bullshit. And, but this is like, were you just with this person because you thought you were happy and ended up not being happy? I don't want to be abandoned. One more for the Nine of Cups, because that is reversed. They're selfish. They're full of shit. How do you see them? Lying about being single, being codependent, a user for finances, never satisfied. Eight of Cups, walk away. You're done, 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 done. They made a mistake, all right, but you are so guarded. They don't have a snowball's chance in hell. At breaking through your ice you've had it now they could have made you an option they could have but you're not dealing with it and they already know it it's like they already know that you don't want to reconcile but they still want to try why finances careful Taurus Virgo Capricorn but they won't 
Eight of Wands. I want to talk. I want to push this forward. I want no obstacles in our way. What you got? The Ace of Cups. Okay, they got some splaining to do. They there. There's like this feeling of. Do you feel the same way about me anymore? They want to know. They want to get the barriers out of the way. They feel like you're confused about how you feel about them. Their actual feelings. I'm reliable. I'm coming in your direction to show you more work. But they're going back and forth about this. Action. They're obsessed. They're going to try. I must have you. I must have you back. What's the blockage? Cheater. Selfish asshole. Only cares about their own needs. Manipulation and bullshit. Control freak. And you're moving on. Fuck this shit, I'm out. You're trying to, you might be um, actually getting to know somebody new. Because you're, you're making honest efforts. Getting together with other people. New contacts. This is value. There's that. That's what was in the middle of the deck to begin with. I feel like you're learning about somebody new. I really do. That's following the rules and behaves and hanging out with other people and moving forward. Somebody you're curious about. You're you're moving on, 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 on. With a lot of hope and on, you know. This is, I'm moving on, I'm moving on, I'm moving on. I am moving on. They might be able to see through you clearly, but you don't care about them anymore, and they damn well know it. They've waited too long. No, thank you. All right, but I do sense a new person coming in that you're twitter pated about. Okay. Aquarius, Leo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All signs are in here. You're easy to see through. I, you know what? Scorpios are very easy to see through because they fucking tell it like it is. But when you hurt them, you hurt them. They Scorpios don't tolerate shit. They let you know when they make a somebody makes a mistake. They let you know. All right, they're being a dick. Someone has withdrawn and is causing some fucking issues. Yeah, that's the person feeling that you're causing the issues because they're being a dick. All right, Scorpios, that's what we have for you. On we go. All right, Sagittarius, we are going to use the In the Shadows and see, pick the brain of the person most on your mind. What are they not saying, Source? What are they not saying but thinking? Two, please. Okay. I love myself enough to walk away, and we are more alike than I admit. Okay, let's see what we get. Love myself enough to walk away. Hmm. Sounds like two people that are kind of both stubborn here. All right. You have the overall energy of justice. So it can be a Libra that you're dealing with. And you have the Ace of Coins right underneath of that. That can be somebody that's deciding to start over. Now, this can be a lot of different things. Let's see what we get with the cut of the deck. Magician. This can be somebody that wants to or that you're hoping comes at you and does the right thing, takes the consequences. This is you wanting balance and making things happening. So manifestations, manifestations, manifestations. But it can be, justice can be just wanting a resolution or a truth of the matter. So let's see what we get. All right, elemental cookies. If you do with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, this one's trying to fall out. What do we got? Okay, what does this person expect from you? Nothing. <laughs> they don't expect anything. They're being lazy. Am I good enough? So ex they expect you to keep con to continuing to think that they're not good enough. 
and be argumentative towards them. Somebody that feels like you kind of just knock them down. Just saying. All right. How are their feelings? How do they feel, feel, feel? Two came out. All right. This person actually does feel like they've been faithful. They've been true. They've been trying. They've been good to you. That they've been fair. That they've been balanced. But they don't feel like you have. They feel like you and your expectations and what you've put them through is that you didn't really care about the situation. They feel like you are going to continue not really caring about it. Their actions. Actions. Nothing. I mean, this person is just really bitter right now. Whatever happened. Now, keep in mind, roles can be reversed. But with judgment here, this person is just kind of going, I, you know, I just, I don't want to deal with the old patterns anymore. One more for action. Okay. They're trying to heal. This person is all up in their head. They're very, very defensive. The actual blockage. You got temperance reversed here. This can be somebody that makes mountains out of molehills and it's all bad judgment, bad impatient, thinking that things are unfair or putting conflict where things just aren't, blowing things out of proportion, things not working out, at least in their mind. More for blockage. And then you have strength reversed, so that would be strength upright. They're holding back. They feel like you, you know, I mean, this person almost feels like they've been controlled. I tried. All I can expect from you is that you're going to keep pushing, 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 and not thinking that I'm good enough. They feel defeated. How do you see them? Boom. You did not expect this, possibly. You're disappointed. Get the Queen of Cups reversed. The, I mean, this also can be that you feel like this person was constantly emotionally pushing your buttons and putting guilt trips on you. One more. And then you got death. It's just, I feel like you, the two of you, I don't think you're interested in this anymore. This can be a separation or a divorce period, but this person's being bitter. They expect more bitter crap from you. They expect you to continue to say that they don't, you know, like you don't care. They don't think that you care, but the, according to them or in their mind, they've put the work into the situation. So there's major stalemate. That person's all guarded. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want? What do they want or expect? All right. Nine of Coins and the Ten of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. I would like to be happy and I'm looking for some family. I'm looking for a possible reconciliation or getting to know you better. I think that you would make me happy. How do they actually feel about you? All right. This person's not over you. Ten of Swords reversed. One more. Feelings. All right. This can be somebody that is just completely letting go of this with the eight. I'm going to release this, but this also can be somebody that's trying to rationalize something and try to, if I, it's your fault too. It, you know, it takes two to tangle. It's not just on me. You know, you know, like they're trying to make sure that you are aware of the fact that it takes two. It's not just me that caused these issues. Their action. Which is true to a point. It takes more than one person to make or break. Usually weighs a little more heavily on one. It does seem like they're going to reach out, try to communicate with you. Wanting to return, try to work things out. I want to come back. I know that there's problems. Let's see if we can figure things out. This is a learning card. This is somebody that wants to take accountability, but they want you to take your accountability too. What's the actual blockage? All right, so we have the King of Rods, but that would make it upright. This person's very bold and confident, sometimes a little bit unethical, but they like to make things happen, so they could be a little bit headstrong. And then you got the Passion Pony, too. This person could be a little bit scattered in the head and giving you, like, this feeling of it's on, it's off, there's passion there, and then it's not. There's chemistry, they send you mixed signals, they can be pushy, ignores their lover, a little bit vain and self-serving. How do you see them? All right, you got the magician. Are you trying to manifest this person back? Because that's what it looks like. 
I'm trying to get my person back. I want this to work out. This feels like a reconciliation. This just seems like an argument that popped off. It feels like they have a little bit of an ego issue, honestly. And love themselves enough to walk away. Mm. If I mean, I don't see you having an ego issue here. You want this person back, but don't kiss their ass. I mean, this is taking consequences. This is somebody that could be trying to convince you that you are more of the problem than you would admit. But there's got to be a balance. So that does look like trying to talk. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they want? What do they want? You, Six of Cups. One more. I want things to go better between the two of you. I want us to have a future together. Their actual feelings. They want you to think about the memories. They feel disappointed. They feel like you don't have any interest in them anymore. Or that you're like always smothering them or jealous or accusing. A little bit controlling. Overly. But they still consider you home. I still have feelings for you. I still feel like you're the right one for me. That is a soulmate card. I feel like our connection still has a backbone. Their action. Action. Confessing. Confessing emotions. Confessing how they feel. You got the seven of swords reversed. Coming clean with you and wanting to start over. How do you see them? All right, four of coins reversed. You feel like they give up too easily, that they wanted their emotional freedom possibly, but that they're stubborn and they let go of things a little bit too, like they give up too easy. But you still want this person in your life. So again, there needs to be more balanced. Balanced communication, balanced energy. You want, you want to talk to them. You still have feelings. You could be the one kind of reaching out towards them. This, again, looks like two people that just popped off into an argument. I'm not even going to bother with what's a, you know, they're basically going, you need to be, treat me like an equal. They don't feel like you're treating them like an equal. They feel a little bit less than, a lot of ineptness here. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Eight of Cups. What they anticipate from you is that you are emotionally walking away. And that you're done dealing with this, that you're done, that you are feeling like this is a waste of time. They expect you just to kind of ignore them. Feelings. Well, there's sunshine here. All right. One more for the sun. Mm, okay. So this person wants you to open up. You got the high priestess here. I want to talk, I want to try, but I feel like you're kind of ignoring me. Your actual action. Or we got the hangman reversed. They might just let this go. I mean, in their mind, they've been... I keep trying, but every, every time I try to give you what you want, it seems like it's not enough. Like, I try and I try and I try, and I never seem to be able to give you what you want. It's like we're not making any progress. What's the actual... Blockage. All right. Ten of Cups. The communication. There was a barrier of some sort. What's the barrier? What's getting in the way here? An attitude manipulation. Somebody's got a big stick up their ass. And I don't care if it's you or them. But this is somebody, when we reverse it, that takes takes things wrong, gets really mean, gets really snippy, gets very defensive. How do you see them? Oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> you have trust issues with this person. But they're... Really? You are uncertain about recon reconciliation. You're uncertain if you can trust this person, but you still have feelings for them. Yes, guys. But it does look like it needs to completely... I just feel like you're dropping that. It's like, I don't want the competition, but I'm willing to compromise. You're wishy-washy. Now, keep in mind, roles can be reversed. They feel like you're walking away and you're done putting any effort into this at all. That you're disappointed and that you just, you know, you got no follow-through. 
and you're feeling like, go fuck yourself. I'm not taking the risk of having you come back and possibly abandonment. You got trust and abandonment issues here, but I still have emotions for you. I feel like I'm the emotionally mature one. I'm starting over, whether you're involved in my life or not, but I want to compromise and I want to end to the drama. I mean, that's, I don't know that you're necessarily deciding what the hell you want. Head games. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but this is looking like back and forth and blockage and head games, major head games. This person is trying to, trying to get you to open up, but they just don't feel like you're being completely honest with them. All right. Sorry. You guys are getting slammed on that one. I tell them like it is. All right. So we have Justice up there. Leo, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Empress, Libra, Taurus. Gemini. Scorpio. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Taurus. Okay. As far as I love myself enough to walk away, I really feel like somebody, even if they're just not expressing themselves, might be more alike on the inside, but they're not expressing themselves. And how would you know them? And, you know, almost like you're just taking each other wrong. Completely taking each other wrong. All right. So one from the fuck it and one from the fucking honest oracle. Stop. Feel it. And then decide. So think. Think, think, think. Think about your part in this. Be patient, you silly fucker. Love takes time. You shouldn't. You wouldn't rush a good chit, would you? <sighs> no. Don't rush a good chit. No, 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 no. All right, guys, that's what we have for you, Saggies. On we go. Capricorns. Okay, we're going to use the In the Shadows Oracle to see, pick the person's brain. That's most on your mind. What aren't they saying? What aren't they saying, Source? Okay. What did you want from me? Oh, my God. Defensive. And I'm sorry. Okay. Apologetic, but confused at the same time. Let's see what we get. With a deck I chose for you, we have the overall energy of the Fool. Cut of the deck, we have the Lovers. So Gemini, Aries energy. This can be choices, decisions. This can be kind of like uh, trying to respect boundaries, but at the same time not necessarily doing so. Possibly just jumping in and out of your life. It also can be somebody new or taking things to a new level. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag. Elemental clickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. What this person expects from you. Silence. Quietness. Thinking. They are really confused. They don't know if they should wait anymore or not. They feel like you're thinking that they are a waste of time. How do they feel? They actually feel... They just feel torn. They don't know what to do. They're like, do I? They don't want to make any decisions w without really knowing if this can get better or not. All right. They think that you want to be single. They think that you want your independence. Their actual actions. They want to come in and communicate with you. But they're kind of being on the side. It's like they're waiting, 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 waiting for you to do something. What's the blockage? I don't think you have the same amount of feelings for them as you had before. No, it's almost like you're trying to move on, get attention. It's like you're turning their, your back on this person. They're waiting for good news. They might think that you were getting attention from others. How do you see them? All right. Kind of arrogant. I was getting their way. And a little on the toxic side. <laughs> One more. What you want. All right. I don't know. You got to think about this because there's optimism here. This is looking like somebody was getting attention from somebody else. Just straight up. They could have been saying that they were single or they wanted their freedom too. But right now you got major stagnancy. They want to try to free up any obstacles between the two of you, but they're just holding back and sitting there and watching because they feel like if I if press my luck you're out you're having a hard time trying to deal with this you think that they should have more respect for you and they might have stepped out but it's like right now no they're waiting on you 
to make some kind of move as far as an apology. Maybe they owe you one. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want? Say good morning, Dad. What do they want? They expect to take you out. They expect to date you. They expect to romance you. Their feelings. Ooh. They want to get to know you. They want to show you your value and be fair. Their actions. Nice. Ooh. Let's see what you think of them. What do you think of this person? A little bit forward, but determination. It's like I'd like an opportunity. Just don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. Yeah, don't be pushy. Holding back on your feelings a little bit. But the overall energy of the fool is like, I gotta know you better. But that is a learning card here. So giving this person the opportunity, seeing if they're, I mean, this is looking like you see them as somebody that is a hard worker, but they might work a shit ton and therefore you're holding back a little bit too. And they also might work at a distance and that's why you're holding back. One more for their action. Because this is somebody that's emotionally mature. They want to try to get on Now this can be work related, like somebody that you meet through work. Or there's something about work. They could work at a distance. There's two cards of distance. So distance can be a problem. You could have met this person online. But they would like to try to take steps to kind of anchor this connection down with you. And you're kind of holding back. And it can be because of the fact that you feel like they are just a workaholic. But this still looks kind of new and needing to get to know each other. As far as what do you want from me? What do you want from me? You're holding back. <laughs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they expect from you? Silence. They anticipate that you're going to keep quiet. But they expect or hope that you might take an apology too. Because this is somebody that might want to try to recover what's lost. But there's a little regret. Feelings, feelings, feelings. So they feel like you're ignoring the shit out of them. This is a big upheaval for this person. They're taking this hard. They're heartbroken. Oh, oh. Action. No, right. They want to come back around. What is the actual blockage? Restlessness. Their attitude. Possibly flirting with other people. Temperance reverse is somebody that's not got a healthy balance and somebody that can do things just spontaneously and cause issues that did make you feel like things were just not working out. But up here, they feel like you're just kind of giving them the cold shoulder. But it does look like they want to try to apologize and they're hoping that you accept. That's what they want. Your view. I don't know that I trust you. You're anxious. I feel like there's things that have been unsaid that you don't trust, but you still have feelings for them. That can be forgiveness. Do you have feelings for them? You would like this to grow, but there's always a but. You need the truth. You want the clarity. So I feel like you're kind of teaching them a little bit of a lesson by being quiet to them until they come in with an apology, but they're taking this hard. They could have been flirting with somebody else. They could have stepped out, but not so much as just being restless and constantly doing whatever the hell they want and could have been drinking to excess and, you know, needing to control themselves. You, I mean, you would like this to grow, but you want things to clear up. You want, you know, a big change to happen between the two of you. So with the full energy, that could be taking it to a new level with that person, but first they got to come in and kind of clear things up. And it can be that they do things to excess that they have to clear up for themselves that, that you can't control. You can't mother and smother them to make them better. Cannot fix people. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Ace of coins, what they want. Ooh, I want a new beginning with you. I really think that we get along well. Feelings. They're willing to go the long, hard road. They want to put work into it, but they feel like you're making it kind of difficult. What action? They want They want this. They want to see this move forward. They're making plans to try to have this connection with you. What is the blockage? You're not sure if this is something that's going to make you happy. You might not be interested. 
Nine of Pentacles, does this person meet your expectations? Are they loyal? Are they faithful? You're not sure yet. This feels new. Your thoughts on them? Okay. They might remind you of somebody else. I mean, it is somebody that you're comfortable with, but th this isn't love. One more. And you know that they expect a lot, but you're standing your ground. So they're going to have to take it really, really slow to show you that they're actually going to stick around because you're not 100% sure that this is, it's like this looks almost too good to be true type feeling. And they know that they really got to put a lot of hard work into this, but this is looking new and that you're just a little bit cold feeties here. So as far as what do you want from me? <laughs> That's more what you're saying. What do you want from me? I don't really... Wow, this is... T it, it just seems like it's too good to be true. But you want to get to know them better. Then you get the Eight of Pentacles. I mean, that's somebody that you probably would want to continue seeing, but it seems like you got a little bit of a trust issue. All right, Aries. Gemini, Capricorn. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, Sag, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. But all signs are in there. Somebody does need to apologize. All right, one from the fucking honest oracle and the fuck it pink. I bloody love you. Tell yourself commitment issues may cause some shitty challenges. I feel like that's your trust issue. Just saying. All right, Cappies, that's what we have for you. On we go. Aquarius. Okay. We're picking brains today. Person most on your mind. What are they thinking? What are they not saying? Source. We are not right for each other. And yes, it's too late. Somebody's got doggy donor energy. It's at the bottom of the deck. I know you're watching me. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe they're paranoid. Okay, let's see what we have for your overall energy. Temperance. And judgment. So you could have made a judgment call <laughs> yourself. But this is looking like healing. Let's see what we get. Patience and healing. Elements of wikis. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. What this person expects. Five of swords. More combative bullshit. Five of cups. They don't want to deal with it. This person's just walking away. What they expect from you is more heartache. More feelings of not being trusted, more like they're wondering, you know, I'm never good enough and they might miss you, but they just expect the same thing. They think history would repeat itself. Their actual feelings. Ace of Swords, one more for feelings. King of Cups. Mm, I think they're full of crap. Actions. What's the blockage here? Okay, this person wanted their freedom, period. Their feelings is that they may have cut you out even though they do care about you. They might just be starting over and trying to do some self-love. One more for blockage. Hang man. Yeah, they feel like, that, I mean, when we reverse that, there's, they're basically saying this is a waste of time. Nothing I ever, never, nothing I ever gave you was enough. They felt like they weren't making progress with you. Arguments. Snippy crap. They just feel like you kind of were in and out of their life. They feel like you kind of blocked any attempt that they made and, and, and sabotaged. That. That's how they feel. Just saying. How do you see them? Page of Wands. Immature. Three of Wands. Moving. Okay. You're just distancing yourself emotionally. Three of Wands, anticipation of better things. Yeah, you're moving forward. Nine of Wands. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is looking like you are interested in somebody else. Hair font. You're being true to yourself. You're trying to do what's best. You're trying to find value possibly in somebody else. They could be right as far as the full reverse and the attempts at possibly not get, not taking any chances with you, but feeling a little bit betrayed. But this could have already been done. You could have already called it quits. And it looks like you possibly are seeing somebody new. So they withdrew themselves. And this can be kind of like they were told. They were cut out. 
and they'd still care about you, but they just feel like you're not interested in talking to them. Nothing, that you're just done. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do they want? Emperor. What do they expect from you? All right. They want to land you, and they want contentment, happiness. They want to pierce through your icy cold heart, if that's the case. How, what are their feelings? It also can be brand new. Feelings. Feelings. Queen of Cups. Ooh. They're very open to a connection with you. There are feelings here. They're very intuitive type of person. Holding back. This is somebody that wants... I mean, they're, they're controlling their love. They're controlling their feelings. What action? What action? Six of Cups. And then I, they want to make new memories with you. What do you think of this person? This feels kind of new. Balance fair, giving them the opportunity. This feels extremely new. Now, if this was a reconciliation, it sure looks good. You just fancy them. Yeah, I mean, you got the devil here. I, I really want to check this person out. They might not be necessarily good for me, but lust over love right now. Lust over love. So you find them attractive. And you're guarding your heart a little bit. Then you got the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you're putting up very clear boundaries. You definitely want to check this person out, but you might feel like they've got a flaw that you're not 100% sure about. I need to get to know you better. I'm taking this seriously. So you're you're assessing the situation, but you're guarding your heart and being careful, but willing to give them a chance. So they're holding back a little bit, and they could be a little bit, you know, what they're anticipating from you is stability and, and contentment and happiness. They want to be happy. They want to give this a go. They want to make new memories with you, spend time with you, Netflix, chill, romance, your panties off, intimacy. So that looks new, but you are guarded. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do they want to expect? The moon and the high priestess. All right, right off the bat, I feel like this person is saying that you're hiding secrets and that you're holding back and that you're kind of giving them the cold shoulder and they're anxious about it. Feelings. Done. Death. Okay, and they, I mean, they're not over you, but they feel like this is just done. And this person still has feelings for you, but there's a feeling of not trusting the high priestess and the moon. Their actions, keep in mind, roles can be reversed. Their actions. Ten of Wands. Mm. What's the blockage? Ten of Coins. There was no stability here. Could have been somebody that was a financial user, but they're not over you. This could be somebody that's very in and out of your life and not being 100% honest with you either. And, you know, because it's like... I'll put more work into it. Can we start over? How do you see this person? King of Wands. Kind of controlling. Always getting what they want. Very demanding. Very good looking. But you really are done. It's like there's a lot of tension here. You need a break. You need a break from this connection. One more. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're you're holding on to your value. There's some confusion here. They could have treated you like an option. They could have made you feel confused. But right now, they have no clue what to expect from you. They don't know what you want. They're anxious as hell. They feel like you're ignoring them. There's been a disruption in the flow. But they're not over you. And they don't feel like the two of you are on this. It's like a rocky relationship. Things have to change. They still have feelings for you. They still have abundance. They still want this with you. They're willing to put the work in. I mean, this is like makeup sex and trying to make things work. And you're kind of going, yo, get your way. I just, I just need a break right now. There's a lot of sexual tension. Yes, I still have feelings for you. But at the same time, I just need to hold back. I need to put value on different things right now. I feel like you're trying to heal. This can be healing, this connection, but right now it's on major stagnant because it seems like they're expecting you to be just cricket silent. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Cups. This person wants to open up communication and start talking to you. But they feel like they aren't necessarily a top priority or that you're not interested. 
or they're choosing not to make any decision at any movement at all. How do they feel? Two of coins. Back and forth, back and forth. Are you going to make time for me? Are you going to leave me single? I don't think you're really interested. Page of Cups, kind of small. Two of Swords, stalemate. Trying to understand why you're not interested. Action. Chariot. Two, they're still going to try. Are you interested in this person? I don't... I mean, with those two of swords, I don't think you're really... Magician. What are you trying to manifest? The lovers. You could be trying to manifest somebody else. Three of swords. Mm-hmm. It's looking like you're holding back because somebody else hurt you. This is healing, but this is trying to manifest back somebody that you consider your lover. So you have the eight of swords. You're kind of in limbo. I, I feel like you got somebody that's coming in new and you're actually looking at the X. So what they're anticipating, one more for the Two of Swords. One more for the Two of Swords. King of Swords. I mean, this person really is indignant. It's almost like they're kind of saying, well, you get over that person that was an asshole already. I mean, I'm so much more romantic, but you got to make up your mind. And they feel like they're just waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's like they want you. They don't feel like you're seeing them clearly for who they really are. And they feel like you're leaving them in kind of limbo. So it seems like they have a lot of attempts and you're trying to manifest somebody back. It's almost like you're trying to get over an ex and you got somebody else up your colon. Okay. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, a lot of fire here, Aries, Virgo, Pisces, Capricorn, Leo, Leo, Aries, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and you know, this is really like resentment and bitterness about somebody that you thought should have been your love, should have been respectful, respectful boundaries, and you're trying to bring them back into your life, Cancer, 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 Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces, and Cancer. All right, let's get, for fun only, one from the pink bucket and one from the honest oracle. Fears of deception or lies might have to be discussed in a respectful way. Example, I will leave your fucking ass if you cheat, lie, or deceive me, and then, woo, where the fuck did that fuck come from? All right, Aquarius, that's what we have for you. I'm going to go Pisces. Okay, we're picking brain first. In the shadows, what is your person thinking? Thinking but not saying. Swords, Pisces. Their thoughts. I couldn't tell you face to face. All right. And in the moment, I didn't care. Uh-oh. Well, that can be attitude and an argument. Let's see what we have for you overall. All right. You have justice. And right underneath of that, you have the king of swords. So it seems like somebody's kind of being an ass and cold and shitty. Cut of the deck. You have strength. Holding back a little bit. But wanting somebody... Your energy is, I want somebody to do right by me. I want somebody to be honest with me. And I'm holding back until they do. I mean, it also can be a Libra coming your way or a Leo. So let's see what we get. Elements of quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Wheel of Fortune. What this person expects from you. Ooh. I expect your future. I expect... I anticipate good things from you. I am expecting you to be open to love. So this person thinks you are interested. They want this to move forward. They expect and want from you a connection. Oof. Their feelings. Ooh, this person feels like they got their shit together. I got everything that I need to be able to get me some cupcake. And they are happy. You make them happy. They want to pound sunshine up your tushy. Actions. Actions they take. Clarification if need be. Breaking the ice. Clearing anything up. Actions, let's talk. Let's talk. I want to talk to you. Why the high priestess for actions? Because they might feel like you're a bit guarded. I'm kind of pushing them away. Oh. They know what your expectations are. But this seems like somebody that actually wants to 
give you what you want. I want to give you what you want. I want happiness too. How do you see them? Oh, that's a match here. There again, I I expect good things. I want security or I'm staying single. Oh, oh, oh. You also might feel like this person's been kind of going back and forth because of the fact that they're trying to keep their independence and you're wanting a long-term companion. This could have been dating and fun and frolic and kind of wondering where things were going, but they still want a future with you. Black Edge. Page of Swords reversed. A little bit snitty. Could have been doing shit behind your back. And therefore, not quite getting off the ground. Could have been a missed opportunity. One more. It's almost like you kind of lost interest in this person because of maturity issues and possibly waiting for something better. So this person, it's a, two pentacles. It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. Are you wanting to stay single or are you going to meet my expectations? I'm going to stay quiet until you, you know, but they... They see you being quiet and they still want to come in with clarification. They want, I mean, they keep trying. They keep trying. Even if they're immature, they keep trying. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. No, they won't. Okay. They expect from you. I mean, they want a piece of your ass. Definitely they want to come in and romance you. And they're very attracted to you. And they want to do right by you. But the Nine of Wands, they're anticipating from you. You to be very guarded. What are their feelings? Feelings. Dad's talking to Alexa. They, they actually tease Alexa. Him and my brother. It's ridiculous. Okay, they feel like there's no barriers here. They want communication. They feel like this could go forward fast. They might be pushing a little bit too quickly. They couldn't be at a distance, but they want long term. They want a feeling of stability. Their actions. Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups? Page of One. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. This can be somebody that's been, you know, okay. Eight of Cups walked away to find what they emotionally wanted. And the Page of Wands, curious about other people at the same time. One more. Three of Wands. What the shrimp? Nah, no wonder you're guarded. Black Edge. Seven of Swords, busted. Busted, busted, busted. Breadcrumbing you, not giving you enough, not confessing emotions, not being 100% honest, and not dropping something. What do they need to drop? That's toxic, causing issues here. <sighs> somebody else that they were screwing. I'd be careful. This is looking to me like somebody that's coming in and out of your life. In and out, in and out. I want this, I want that, I want, and there's no obstacle here, and, and they expect you to stay guarded, but they think they can, they can get a piece of ass whenever they want. I'd be very careful. How do you see them as an option? And flirt. I mean, you are interested in this person, but at the same time, you're guarding your heart because you know that this person has more than one choice, so that puts you in a limbo. The Four of Cups wanted to show its face. I, I just feel like you're going, Egh. I got to heal from this because Five of Swords, you keep walking away from me and causing bitter bullshit. This to me feels like a player. Uh -uh. In and out, constantly toying with other people, having other options, weighing theirs, and you're not, not so happy with it. It's like, I like you, but not dealing with that shit. All right. You know, that makes you feel less than and shunned. It's like, why do you need to see other people? Why can't you just be with one person? Seriously. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. What do they want? Quick, quick, quick communication with you. But they don't really have a plan. So they expect you to be a little bit chip on your shoulder. And they expect you just to say, I'm done. And release them. Their actual feelings... Seven of coins, they have some dough, but they really wanted to pursue this. Two of swords, they feel like you're telling them no, and that you are just not even looking at them. Action they take. Judgment. 
Ten of Cups. Can you forgive me? Can we be together? What is the actual blockage? They gave up too soon. Somebody gave up and it wasn't worth it. Bad memories. One of their independence. Lies and bullshit. I, there again, you're trying to heal. You have two cards of healing and not interested. No, 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 no. Not so much. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What they expect or want from you. All right, let's hang out. I want to learn about you. I want to see what you're like. Let's hang out. Let's take this to a new level. Their feelings. Ooh. They feel like this could really go somewhere. Now, you could have met them at a party, but they feel like there's a really good foundation here, and they want to move this forward. They want your attention. How do you see them? They make you feel happy, happy. Three of Cups. You could meet this person out with friends, but it's bringing things together and celebrations and enjoying each other's company. Seven of Cups reverse. You're not looking at any other options. You want to know them better, but you dig them. Action they plan to take. I mean, this is looking like they're getting your attention one way or another. I'm wanting to get to know you. Oh, yeah, they're paying attention to you. Hi, how you doing? Poke, poke, poke. But open to love and emotionally mature. This looks really nice. As far as in the moment, you got two-faced bullshit in here. Uh-huh. There. In the moment, they didn't care. Yeah, I'd be careful. There's some definite crap. Don't don't think that you're less than, you know, because that Eight of Swords. Feeling shunned, feeling worthless, feeling abandoned. No, don't, don't feel that way. If somebody's making you feel that way, let them get their karma. All right, let's go through. Because somebody is very spontaneous. I didn't in the moment I didn't care. So I just did what I wanted. No, we no, we don't deal with that. No. Libra. Pisces, my cupcakes. Leo. Aries Leo Sag. Capricorn. Gemini. Player. Pisces. Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius. And Scorpio. I really feel like you're putting your foot down on somebody, but it seems like somebody's really got you hung up in your heart and you're taking it hard like you're not good enough. I hate that. Own your shit. If you have to spy on them, one, or A, you are not ready for love, or B, they're not trustworthy. Keep that in mind. All right, my cupcakes, that's what we have for you. Thanks for watching. Many blessings, and we'll see you next time.